Hi, welcome to Future Technos. The Nikon Z90 is shaping up to be one of the most talked about cameras of 2025. From what we've seen in the leaks so far, it is not just an ordinary upgrade. It feels like Nikon has finally decided to push APS-C cameras into a territory where they can truly compete with full-frame systems, not just in price, but in performance. That's why so many photographers and videographers are paying attention right now. The 33-megapixel APS-C sensor is already a big deal. For years, APS-C shooters have felt that they were being left behind compared to full-frame users. Either they got fewer megapixels, or they had to compromise on speed, or the autofocus wasn't as advanced. But here, Nikon is putting serious effort into making the Z90 a camera that doesn't feel like a step down from a Z8 or a Z9. Instead, it feels like a smaller, faster, and more specialized tool for people who need that burst speed and tracking power. And when you add the new processor into the mix, things get even more exciting. The Speed 7 is not just a small upgrade. Every generation of Nikon's processors has brought a noticeable improvement, but this one seems to be on another level. It's all about handling massive amounts of data in real time. Think about it. 20 frames per second in RAW with a buffer that can keep going for a thousand images. That kind of performance puts the Z90 in the same conversation as some of the most expensive sports cameras on the market. Now, if you shoot sports, you know that missing a moment is not an option. A single missed frame could mean the difference between capturing a world-class shot or just another ordinary picture. That's why burst speed and buffer size matter so much. Nikon seems to have finally given APS-C users the tool they've been asking for. Imagine being on the sidelines of a soccer match, tracking every sprint, every tackle, every expression, and not worrying about your camera freezing up. That's the promise here. The video side is just as impressive. 4K at 60 frames per second with no crop is already standard on high-end models, but Nikon is pushing flexibility as well. Internal recording with log profiles means that color grading and post-production becomes much more professional. You're not stuck with flat-looking footage or compressed files. And with 10-bit 4.2.2 output through HDMI, you could plug the Z90 into an external recorder and produce broadcast quality material. For YouTubers, filmmakers, and even documentary shooters, this could be a turning point. Stabilization also matters more than ever. Everyone wants clean, stable footage, whether you're hand-holding at a concert or tracking wildlife out in the field. Nikon's 5-axis IBIS has already been strong, but reports suggest the Z90 could be even better. If this turns out to be true, it would mean that APS-C shooters no longer have to worry about shaky footage in the same way they once did. You could record smooth clips even without a gimbal, which saves time, money, and effort. The autofocus system might be the most exciting part of all. Nikon has been improving step by step, but the leaks suggest that the Z90 is taking a massive leap forward. An AI-based subject detection system that can actually analyze movement patterns in real time is something that could completely change how photographers work. Think about how useful that would be for wildlife. A camera that can recognize the flight pattern of a bird and predict its next move would give photographers an edge they never had before. Or picture a basketball game where the camera doesn't just see the player but actually anticipates their next jump. That level of predictive focus could make shooting action smoother and more reliable than ever. When you look at what Sony and Canon are doing, this becomes even more interesting. Sony's real-time tracking has been one of the industry's best features for years. Canon has also made major strides with their dual-pixel autofocus. If Nikon can actually deliver a system that beats or even matches those, it will put them back into the spotlight in a way we haven't seen in a long time. And for APS-C, this would be groundbreaking. Now let's talk about design. The viewfinder and screen are important for any shooter. The Z90 is rumored to have a 3.69 million dot OLED EVF with almost no blackout. That means you can track fast subjects without losing sight of them. The fully articulating touchscreen is also a welcome choice. It makes vlogging, overhead shots, or low-angle shots much easier. Nikon is clearly making sure this camera appeals to both photographers and video creators. The dual card slots are another professional touch. One CFX Press Type B for maximum speed and one SD UHS-2 for convenience. This kind of setup gives you flexibility. You can separate stills and video, or you can use one as a backup. Professionals will appreciate this because reliability is everything on a job. Losing files because of a card error is not something you want to experience, and Nikon is making sure the Z90 is built for serious work. Connectivity is also key in 2025. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 with low energy modes make wireless transfers faster and more stable. Many shooters today want to move files straight from the field to the cloud or stream video without extra equipment. 
Nikon is clearly aware of that. USB-C with power delivery is another modern touch, allowing the Z90 to work in professional rigs without draining batteries. Battery life is rumored to hit around 700 shots per charge. That's solid for a camera this powerful. Combine that with efficient wireless protocols, and you get a machine that feels ready for modern workflows. Imagine shooting an entire sports event and sending highlights directly to editors without ever removing a card. That's the kind of professional efficiency Nikon is aiming for. So what does all of this mean for Nikon's bigger strategy? It looks like the company wants to prove that APS-C still matters. For years, many photographers assumed that APS-C was fading away, replaced by full-frame mirrorless models. But the Z90 suggests the opposite. Nikon is saying that APS-C can still innovate, still push boundaries, and still be relevant for professionals, not just hobbyists. The timing of the release is interesting. Rumors point to late summer or early fall 2025. That lines up with major photo events, giving Nikon the chance to show off the Z90 to the world at just the right time. But even if it slips to later in the year, the strategy still makes sense. Nikon has been building momentum with the ZF, Z8, and Z9. Now, the Z90 could extend that energy into the APS-C space, bringing in both professionals and enthusiasts. The price is another crucial factor. Between my $500 and $2,000 body only is aggressive. It positions the Z90 as a serious tool, but still within reach for many. Compare that to high-end full-frame sports cameras that cost twice as much, and you start to see why people are calling this a game-changer. Nikon seems to understand that value matters, especially in today's market. But let's not forget the competition. Sony's a6700 and Canon's R7 are already popular APS-C options. Both have strong autofocus systems and good video features. The Z90 needs to not only match them, but also offer something extra. From the leaks, it looks like Nikon is betting on buffer size, burst speed, and AI autofocus as the winning formula. If they pull it off, the Z90 could set a new standard. What about lenses? This is a big question. A powerful body is only as good as the glass you can pair it with. Nikon's Z-mount lineup has grown quickly, but APS-C users still want more native lenses. The Z90 could be the camera that drives Nikon to release more fast primes and telephoto zooms designed for crop sensors. That would make the system much more complete and attractive to new buyers. In many ways, the Z90 also reflects Nikon's response to changing photography trends. More people are mixing stills and video. More creators want hybrid tools that do both well. The Z90 seems built with that in mind. You don't have to choose between being a photographer or a filmmaker. You can do both with one camera that's compact, fast, and reliable. At the end of the day, the Z90 is not just another APS-C camera. If the leaks are true, it's a statement from Nikon. A statement that says, We are serious about innovation, and we are serious about giving our users tools that matter. Whether you're shooting wildlife, sports, YouTube videos, or documentaries, this camera looks like it has the speed, the focus, and the image quality to deliver. So should you wait for it? If you're already on a Nikon APS-C body and want the best possible upgrade, the answer is yes. If you're invested in another system, the Z90 might still tempt you, depending on how important burst speed and autofocus are for your work. And if you're a full-frame shooter who wants a smaller backup body, the Z90 could fit perfectly into your bag. Of course, all of this depends on Nikon delivering what the leaks promise. Specs on paper can sound amazing, but real-world performance is what matters. We'll have to wait and see how the Z90 actually performs when it launches. But right now, the excitement is justified. Nikon has the chance to shake up the APS-C market in a way we haven't seen in years.